New life tonight for an East End building where deadly gunshots rang out in March. A boat shop, restaurant and brewery are all planned along Kellogg Avenue near Lunkin Airport. Nine on your side's Tom McKee has this story that you will see only on nine. Woodhold and classic two words describing the boats now being restored at the antique boat center. The company relocated from Evendale to Kellogg Avenue in the East End, bringing with it nine jobs. Patrick Ormond is the head of the East End Community Council. And I think that it will be a showcase for the people that want to restore boats like that. But that's not the only business that will occupy the structure, which has been vacant since March. That's when gunfire erupted inside the Cameo nightclub, killing two people and wounding 15 others. Worst thing a neighborhood can have is vacant buildings. It won't be that way much longer. I got a chance to get inside Friday and see what's going to be done. The interior is being cleared of the tables, chairs, sound equipment and lights from the nightclub days. Plans call for a small brewery to be built in this area. A restaurant tentatively called Castaways is slated for this section. The bar will be restored. I checked with Cincinnati's Building and Inspections Department and found building permits have already been pulled. To turn a tragedy into a triumph is a beautiful thing. But there's more. An outdoor gazebo will be restored, as will the swimming pool and deck surrounding it. It will all be open to the 800 boat owners and families at Rivertown Marina, plus the general public, too. That helps everybody. It helps with jobs, helps with economic development, and it makes the area more vital. The marina also has plans to turn this area into a campground. The city does not allow RV parks for recreational vehicles. When you start to have a, an ingenious concept and you come in, it adds to what's become almost the Eastern Entertainment District in Cincinnati. And the owners tell Nine on Your Side they hope to have all the work done by May 1st of next year so that they can host their annual Kentucky Derby party.